Hey, how's it going? Today, we're looking at some event items. So the turkey trials has started. It goes from now until December 7th. If you don't know what that is, it's the Thanksgiving Day event. You kill off some of the super turkeys, get their wishbones, and you throw them to the cooking pot. You get everything from skins, you got emotes, you got some new chibis, you got candy, and you have one of the special things for this event is the Dodo Rex. You can spawn it in, cost 400 of the wishbones, and it lasts, I think it's 24 in-game hours. So one full day, then it disappears. So let's start off, we'll show you, <laughs> there's a little turkeys there. Don't let their little cute cuddly selves fool you. They are definitely not either one of those things. Actually need a big team to kill them off, but we'll show you that in a minute. Let's start off with the cooking pot. So you need a regular one, not an S plus one. Come over here to the holiday section. We've got some emotes. We've got some of the hat skins. You got bottoms for the males, tops for the females. We've got a couple weapon skins. You got some shirts, some sweaters. You've got the full, like the full body costume. We've got the candies that will change your team's color, plus give them a bonus to movement speed. And then you've got two different chibis. You've got a regular one, or you have a chance to get one of the rare ones. And then you have the Dodo Rex. So all you have to do is put the wishbones you have into here, turn it on, and you can craft all that up. So I've already got them all made. So we'll do a quick rundown on all this stuff, and then we'll show you the different candies on the team. Then we'll go out, we'll kill off some of the turkeys, show you how tough they are, and we'll spawn in the Dodo Rex. Show you that too. So let's start off with some of the skins. We'll start off with my favorite, man. I don't know, this is one of my favorite weapon skins. It's a turkey leg. It goes onto a club. Not sure why, man. Let's turn into the sun. There we go. Not sure why, but this is one of my favorite looking ones. You can go beat somebody up, eat a little snack at the same time. It's nice, man. It's nice. It's a nice, good skin. Next one on the list is a pitchfork. You put this one onto a regular pike. It's not too bad. It's a big, huge pitchfork. Stab somebody with it if you want. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely not safe. Moving on to some of the clothes, this is the turkey swim bottoms. The dodo pie swim bottoms. The dodo rex swim bottoms. The meat swim bottoms. And the murder turkey swim bottoms. Next up we got the shirts, this is the dodo rex print shirt. In the Murder Turkey print shirt. Next up, we got sweaters. This is the Ugly Cornucopia sweater. The Ugly Turkey Target sweater. The Ugly Trike sweater. The Ugly Foliage Friends sweater. The Ugly Dodo's Revenge sweater. Next up, we have hats. This is the turkey hat. <laughs> it's kind of a funny one, man. I'm just saying. The bonnet hat. The chieftain hat. The pilgrim hat. And then next up, we got the female clothes. I can't put these on. They won't actually show. But we have a dodo pie swim bottom. Or swim top, excuse me. We've got the Dodo Rex swim top. We've got the meat swim top. You've got the murder turkey swim top. And the turkey swim top. So those are the ones for the females. Like I said, can't use those. It's uh, <laughs> kind of a gender thing. And then we have, uh, man, the one everybody likes. The full body turkey costume. Yep. <laughs> That's it, man. It's not too bad. It looks crazy. It's, 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 it's something, man. It's something different for sure. Got the whole tail feathers and everything, man. We are not keeping that on through the rest of the events. <laughs> but it is there in case you want that. Next thing we got on the list, let's take a look at the chibis. So we have four normal chibis. They are new. And then we have the one special one. Let's start off with the La Mantra. Uh, it's the moth. I think I pronounced that right. It's a moth that's over on Scorched Earth. It's kind of a cool team, man. I actually like taming them. Instead of using a Pterodon. Kind of neat, man. Not too bad. I wonder if he does a... Uh, Idle animation where he drops the uh, the little gas balls and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Next one is going to be the Fjordhawk from this map here on Fjordor. Kind of neat. It's a small, shorter pet anyways, but it's kind of kind of the same, right? It's got the bigger head and smaller body. It's nice, man. Nice. Not too bad. 
We've got a Mosasaur. Kind of interested to see this one. Ah, man, that's fantastic, dude. His little water ball and everything. <laughs> the head looks a little bit weird on him, but kind of does on all the chibis. It's not too bad, man. Not too bad. We've got a Tech Strider, too. That's not something I would think that would be a chibi. It's from Genesis 2. Let's do this on this one. A little bit easier to see him. Ah, oh, fantastic colors, man. It's like gray and then purple accents. I like it, man. I like it. They're pretty useful teams, too, over on Genesis 2. And then the final one is going to be the special one. It's a stuffed Glowtail. Ah, oh, man, he's got his little hat. Dude, you're kind of in the concrete, man. Can't really see you. Come over here, dude. There we go. He's got a nice orange glow to him. Oh, man, that's fantastic. I'm glad they added in the glow to him, too. I mean, he's, he's a glow tail. He should have a glow. But he's got his little Thanksgiving Day hat and everything. Nice, man. Nice. I always like seeing the chibis, man. And all we have left is some of the candies. We'll hunt down some of the turkeys and we'll spawn in the Dodo Rex. So, these turkeys, in case you didn't know, they are level, I think it's 200? 250? 250! And when you aggro one, you aggro all the ones around. They do the holler, they all come for you. They're kind of passive, right? Do not hunt them on foot. <laughs> I highly suggest you do not hunt them on foot. And try to get them when they're not in packs, too. So, let's do some candies and we'll hunt these guys here. Hopefully we won't have any problems. So, with the candies, let's go ahead and pull a couple of these out. Don't need too many. You got three different flavors of candies. You got normal ones here, and that'll give you a 5% movement speed bonus, as well as some different colors. You've got Mastercraft ones, which give you a 10% bonus, plus some colors. And then you have the Ascendant ones, that are 15% movement speed, plus some colors as well. They all last 24 hours, like 24 real hours, not in-game day. So, once you feed them to your team, you'll have it for a while. If you put it into a Soul Trap or a Cryopod, it will remove the skin color. So, if you like it, don't put it into a trap. We'll feed him a couple of these, and hunt some turkeys. So, I want to save that one for last. I kind of like the colors on that one. Let's do one of this one. It actually looks not too bad, man. I'm not a fan of red, but with those stripes, that actually looks pretty good. I like that. I like that. I really wish. I keep saying this on every event, but I wish there was a way to save the colors. If you find one that you like, make it permanent, you know? Might be a mod that does that. I don't know. This is going to be one of the Ascendant ones. Oh, dude, I'm really liking the colors, man. I thought they were going to be bad because I'm not a fan of the orange and reds, but it looks really good on this. This is a Paleo Rex, too, so it has a different skin pattern. I'll feed them just a couple more, and then we'll do some honey. That looks pretty cool. Kind of hard to see the purple on it, but still looks fantastic. We'll do two more. Let's do... I don't know. I'm kind of a fan of these reds, man. Let's see what we got. Red and orange do not mix. <laughs> it's not too bad, though. Well, let's do this one. We'll do this one, then we'll do the purple one. That's still not too bad, either. Kind of darker colors and stuff. And all you gotta do is just feed them in their inventory, too. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Not as as good as I was hoping it was going to, but... Still pretty good. Alright, anyways. So yeah, that'll give you that big movement speed bonus. Let's kill some turkeys. Hopefully we kill them, and they don't kill us. So, stats on our Rex before we start. We've got 34,000 on the health. We've got 1,700 damage, so it's it's not like we have a little bit of damage here. We are only doing 159 whenever we bite them, so it's it's a thing, man. And then our saddle, too, is only primitive. And you can see how much damage they do in packs, right? 50 for each one. However, sometimes these guys spawn in huge packs, and I forget the amount of health. I'll have to look it up, but it is a ton, man. And then only doing reduced damage to them. It, it takes a while, man. It takes a while. You get a couple of the bones for each one. And see, like I said, they do their little holler. And they all start coming for you. All the ones that are around. Probably shouldn't use the Rex. They actually throw the Rex around. If we get thrown off the side, it's not going to be a good thing. This we got a little bit of a movement speed bonus from our candy, you know. So, yeah, if you are on foot, <laughs> you're going to have a bad day, man. A very, very bad day. I think the first time I tried to kill some of these off, I was on foot with a shotgun. It did not end well at all. I mean, I I ended up back on my bed, which was a, a good thing, but lost all my stuff. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. This is gonna take forever. So, anyways, that is the turkeys. Let's <laughs> let's try to get out of aggro range. Maybe we'll drag them off the side here. All right, now that the turkeys are out of the way, I just drag them off the side over there. Easiest way to do it, man. So let's get one of the dodo rex spawned in. Lighter fire. 
We've got the requirements for it. And make sure whenever you craft this up and you have your cooking pot out, you have it in a place that it'll spawn. If you try to do it, like, inside, it probably won't let you spawn it in because, I mean, the size of it, right? Out here might be okay. And there we go. There's our Dodo Rex. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, we only got half an hour. My settings are changed for the for the time and stuff, so that might adjust how this is some. But we do have our Dodo Rex, man. So... Some stats on it real quick. You get the skin, right? The skin for the... For your head and everything. We'll take a look at that. You've got 666,000 on your health. Your stamina is 1,600. Your damage is 140%. And movement speed is 100. I think you can't level him up. Maybe you can. I mean, he moves pretty fast. And we're doing a ton of damage to the turkeys. He saw how much we were doing with the... Rex, right? So you got your normal bite. You've got a nice flame attack as well. We missed all the turkeys. Not sure how. Yep, yep, terrifying, I know, man. We'll go out, we'll attack a normal tame in a minute. You can see how much extra damage it does versus normal stuff, too. This thing is a beast, man. Definitely fun taking up against Gigas, just saying. And you can see, man, so that's doing almost a thousand damage on this. Think about how much, like, the, the health is on these turkeys, man. They're just tanking that damage. It's crazy, dude. So there's some wishbones, you get about four. I think it varies between two and four, or two and five, for each one. Let's see about our flames. Can we not set them on fire? Oh, we can. So you do 140 per tick on the the flames. This thing is so loud, man. Holy crap, dude. But yeah, those those turkeys, man. They're doing <laughs> doing 100 a hit to the dodo rex. All right, guys, I need you to calm down, please. Calm down. I want to go out there and take out some of the wrecks and stuff. All right, we good? We good? No, there's one more. Well, I'll tell you what. I thought I had them all gone, man. <laughs> it's little stragglers. Or they might be spawning in. i tell you what. Let's just leave those last couple ones. I've already killed off a bunch. I want to go out here and try to attack the wrecks. I can't remember if the damage changes or if it's still the 932 or whatever it was. It might bypass the, the little bit of armor that's on the turkeys. Okay, so it's the same. Ah, oh, do this thing. I tell you what, you take it around, start tearing things up. The speed on it, man, it moves for as big as it is. <laughs> Terrifying, I know. Yep, be a bad day for you. Just saying. Be kind of neat to see how this does against one of the car cars, car cars. The the new creature. I always forget how you say it. But it'd be kind of neat to see how this does against one of those, you know? Because I know against a Giga, I've taken one, I think it was last year, I took it up against a Giga. And it does, oh dude, it does so well, man. So well. Because you figure the health on this thing. So you do got points. So we can go ahead and... Let's scale this up. We don't want to worry about the health and stuff, just because it's not going to last very long anyways, right? So, at the base damage, we were doing... 932. <laughs> now we're doing 2,000! Oh, uh, dude, could you imagine taking this up against Steinbjorn and stuff? Oh, man, that'd be awesome! You can't take it into a, a regular boss fight, but... I don't know, it might fit inside the cave where Steinbjorn is. Try to get some more levels and see how much damage this guy does at a maxed out value. Alright, so we now have a maxed out Dodo Rex. He's got 632 on his damage. Find something to nibble on over here. Kind of cleaned everything out around here. That was weird. It did less. 4,200. <laughs> That's nuts, man. 4,200 on a maxed out Dodo Rex. So you can definitely cause damage. And then the Flame Breath. You're looking at 632 per tick. That's more than normal creatures do per bite. And that's just for his secondary attack, you know? Yep, yep, yep. Bad day for you. And then... Yeah, so he doesn't have anything else. It's just the normal attack in the flame breath. All right, can a guy have a minute? So, before we go, we have this last skin here. I think that goes on our hat. It does. Let's take a look. And that's what you get whenever you spawn one in. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Ah, oh, dude. Well, it's a fantastic event, man. One of the best parts about it 
is spawning in a Dodo Rex. Super high level team. He gets his levels fast. He has high health. Great damage. You got the new chibis. You got the new skins. Plenty of stuff to do. And it goes on for, I think, until December 7th. So you can definitely get in and get your stuff done. Get all your extra emotes and whatnot. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.